Haroldis Chapman's 105 mile an hour heater is the fastest pitch ever thrown. And that pitch wasn't a fluke. In one and a third innings, Chapman threw 25 pitches, and every one of them was clocked at over 100 miles an hour. But how does he do it? Pitching coach Tom House has worked with some of the game's hardest throwers, including Nolan Ryan and Randy Johnson. What you have here is a CC Sabathia upper body and a Randy Johnson lower body. That's why he throws 105 miles an hour. First, his stride. The typical stride length for a pitcher is about 87% of his height, but Chapman's stride averages 120% of his six foot four height, approaching seven and a half feet. His stride isn't just long, it's fast, taking only eight tenths of a second, 15% faster than average pitchers. Next, shoulder turn. The twisting angles between his front hip and his back shoulder create massive torque. 80% of velocity comes from hip and shoulder separation. Elite power pitchers like Randy Johnson create angles of 40 to 60 degrees, but Chapman's is close to 65 degrees. Next, delivery. The thing that separates him is a lot of pitchers could get to that, but how soon does it get to here? The average pitcher uncocks his forearm in seven to nine hundredths of a second. Chapman's arm fires in less than four hundredths of a second. Average pitchers release the ball directly over the front foot. Chapman's release point up to 12 inches in front of his foot amplifies the difficulty of hitting him. Not only does he throw hard, he throws close. One foot of distance is three miles an hour to the hitter's eyes. So not only on the real gun, 105, but you could almost add three more miles an hour to that. You may be looking at the hardest throwing individual that's ever been on this planet. And when you're trying to hit the planet's fastest pitcher, there's virtually no time to think. Facing a 90 mile an hour pitch, a batter has nine hundredths of a second to decide whether or not to swing. But if Chapman unleashes a 105 mile an hour missile, that window shrinks by 66%. The batter must make his decision in only three hundredths of a second. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brankus. Hey!